All right, welcome back everybody. Glad to see you again. Uh, week three of y'all being stuck in the house and we're trying to give you something every week to get up and get out of a chair and get moving. Most of you are probably familiar with these stretches and exercises that we're doing because we give them in the office, but if you haven't seen them before, they're generally very, very safe to do. Today what we're going to talk about is how to use a trigger point ball, and a trigger point ball is nothing uh, more than a tennis ball or maybe even a, a croquet ball or a, a baseball. Anything you have that's about the size of a baseball is fine, and we're going to use that to apply pressure into a trigger point. A trigger point is a local area of muscle that's staying very tight when the rest of it around it is being relaxed, and that can produce pain in that area. So releasing those is as simple as applying pressure for a period of time. I'm gonna demonstrate that here in a second, but there's a couple of key areas that we use quite a bit. We're gonna be working down around the top of the back pocket in the butt area, a little bit in the small of the back, definitely between the shoulder blades, and then we'll talk for a second about how to use that ball up around the, the base of the skull in there. What we have in the office and uh, easy to make at home, we just use a tennis ball inside of a sock. The sock is basically just designed to keep it from getting away from you, so that's what that's for. So we'll just have you go ahead and find one of those so you can pause the video, go grab one of those for a minute, and then when you come back, we'll go over that. So at this point, we've got the ball. I'm gonna step up against a wall and the first place on that, if you find your hips where you normally would rest your hands, and you follow that back around, you'll feel a, a hard bone, that's your tailbone. You're gonna be at the tailbone level, just off to the side, so I'm gonna place that just off to the side. I'm gonna lean into that ball, my feet are maybe six or eight inches away from the wall, and I'm gonna slowly rotate towards the side the ball is on. So the ball is on my left side right now, and I'm slowly rotating around to the back of my hip. If at any point in there I feel pain or tightness, I'm going to push into it a little harder, go back and forth maybe five or ten seconds, and then I'll roll on past it. And then I'll just switch it over. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I won't bore you too much with that, but we're just across from the tailbone, and we're just slowly rotating around. It's kind of the top of the butt cheek, the top of the back pocket. I'll roll until I feel tenderness or pain, lean into it maybe five or ten different strokes and roll past it. Remember on this, it's not how much pain, uh, how much pressure can you take, it's how much do you want. You should be working with your body, not against it. The next place then, we're gonna go from above the back pocket to just above the belt. So here's the spine. We're just off to the side of the spine above the belt. Same kind of placement, I'm just gonna lean into it. My feet are slightly away from the wall. I'm gonna turn to the side that that ball is on. I'm just gonna rotate till I find a sore spot apply some pressure five or ten times and roll on past it. So it might be 30 seconds in each area. I'm going to encourage you to do all four quadrants below the belt and above the belt on each side, even if you find more pain on one area, just check everything out. The reason the ball is in the sock is it allows it to be more maneuverable. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and lower it down. I'm going to stand up against the wall. So remember, I'm in between the shoulder blade and the spine. I'm just applying a little bit of pressure. I'm rolling back and forth on that. I'm on the left side at this point. If I find pain, I'm going to go ahead and push into it just a little bit further. Then I'm going to just keep sneaking that sock up, maybe an inch or two each time. I'm going to take it up as far as I can get on there. And again, anytime I find tenderness or pain, I'm just going to push into it get a little bit more pressure. You can even go through some of the stretches that we went over last week while the ball is on that spot. Remember, you can do the right side and the left side, uh, hit them both on that. The area at the base of the skull is oftentimes responsible for things like headaches and pain into the, the side of the head and the neck. A way that you can get at that, again, taking that ball, if it's in a sock, go ahead and roll that up. If not, that's fine too, but this will keep it from slipping. You would lay flat on your back with your knees up and you'll let your head rest right onto that ball, right about the, the uh, hair level. Let your head rest on there and slowly turn your head to the side of the ball, looking for tenderness. And you're gonna work it all the way around to behind the ear. So that's how you would get at those top areas. So let me review that real quick again for you on our sheet. The first ones, if that's the tailbone, we are below the belt level, the top of the back pocket. Then we moved above the back pocket on both sides. Then we're in between the shoulder blade and the spine. 
on both sides, took that up as far as we could go. And all that can be done against the wall. And then the base of the skull where a lot of those headaches and neck pain can come from, that one you do have to lay on your back, knees are bent up, and the ball is just resting in through there. So that's how you do those. It should take you maybe only two or three minutes, maybe five if you find a lot of spots on that. You can do that once, maybe twice a day. It should feel relieving when you're done. If it feels worse, then go ahead and stop until you talk to us. So good luck on that. I hope you're all doing well, and we'll talk to you next week.